Greetings. You know, every now and then I run across a product or um, I find a service provider that I really like and I think everybody needs to know about. And the other day I had the pleasure of meeting Jay Barry with Valara, who also he is a, describes himself as a serial entrepreneur. And so he's got a number of things going, which I am insanely jealous of. So good morning, Jay. Good morning. How are you? Uh, it's Monday, it really is, and I I decided that Mondays are underrepresented and under cheer for it, and everybody just has this disdain for Mondays. So I'm rooting for Mondays. I get to start the week off right and full of energy and vim and vigor, and so I like Mondays. Mondays too, and it's primarily because even before COVID, I spent Mondays working at home. Um, <laughs> so it's my day. It's my day to kind of plan and develop and also wrap up loose ends so gotcha that, that's what i'm doing today for the most part jay what caught my attention uh when we met is you are selling a air purifier that is fda certified to kill covid amongst other things and of course that my ears popped up so tell me a little bit about your air purifier well, the background on the air purification system is the parent company is the company that used to be Electrolux, the vacuum cleaner company that's been in business for 90 years. They sell in 70 countries. Um, the air purification systems have been on the market for decades now, literally. Um, the air purification system that we're talking about uses technology that was developed by NASA. So the unit itself um, is using NASA-derived technology. It is in the NASA Space Hall of Fame. There are 75 products in the NASA Space Hall of Fame, and all those products are utilizing NASA-developed technology that has been brought back to Earth and being used in some other format to then benefit people here. Um, the product itself, there are currently three models using what they call active pure technology. The active pure technology is uh, what was given the FDA approval to state that it kills 99.98% of COVID on surfaces. That was the first press release that was approved by the FDA. Um, they're working on a second one right now because that was on surfaces. It's now been tested a second time to show that it kills COVID, that's COVID-2. Um, in the air in under three minutes on its lowest settings. Um, the three units are a unit that uh, will treat up to 500 square feet of space, but it is a mobile unit. So it can be used in any type of vehicle on 12 volt system, or it can be plugged into 110 AC DC current. Um, it's, that retails for $299. Uh, my wife and I do a lot of traveling. When we travel, we put it in the truck, we put it in the car, and when we get to our destination, it goes into the B&B or the hotel or the timeshare where we're staying. So um, it just gives us a little extra peace of mind. Um, as I think I said that retails for $299. Um, the second unit is capable of treating up to 3,000 square feet of space. Uh, it's about the size of a bread box. I think the actual dimensions are 11 inches by 12 inches by 13 inches, which is a little odd, but that's how they size the thing. Um, and that treats up to 3,000 square feet. It retails for $14.99. And I have access to another model, which is so, sold through a separate division of this company. It will treat up to 20,000 square feet. And that can be either freestanding or tied into an HVAC system. And that retails for $39.99. Wow, that is, you know, I think for just for the peace of mind, knowing that you're coming home to a, um, you know, a system that will help clean the air, uh, especially uh, if you, uh, I know we're not really supposed to be having a lot of interpersonal interaction these days, but some things just can't be helped. So having that out there and cleaning off the surfaces would also be good. Um, now, you also talked about it removing odors. So, um Tell me about um, how this uh, this system helps with uh, pet owners, particularly dogs and cats. Yeah, it it does a fantastic job at uh, removing odors. 
it, it also it does SARS, MERS, allergens, pollen. Um, it removes all those things from the air. As far as the odor side of things is concerned, um, I was in the car business for 20 years and actually used the technologies that they have um, in my car business because a lot of times in the car business, you will wind up trading a car, buying a car that's got cigarette smoke odors or mold or mildew smells in the vehicle. And I would put one of these units in the car and when I was leaving for the end of the day, close it up, turn it on. And the following morning when I came in, you couldn't smell the cigarette smoke or the mold or the mildew. Um, heard an anecdotal story from a rep down in Texas who um, had a client that owned a small kennel and they installed the air purification system on a Friday night and Monday morning when the maintenance man came in, he couldn't figure out what was going on because he couldn't smell the cats or the dogs or anything that the cats and dogs might have left behind them in the kennel. And he asked the owner of the kennel about what was going on, why didn't it smell anything? He said, because we put these air purification units in. So it's, it's extremely effective. The, the, it uses ionization to eliminate the odors. So once you've used it on the ion platform, whatever space you're in, it kind of has the same smell as what you smell after a thunderstorm. Kind of just that nice, fresh, clean smell and that's that's what what you get when you use this thing on the in the ionization uh odor destroying mode so if we put a unit where would we put such a unit in the house uh is it more centrally located or right in front of a, a furnace return so that we use the blower in the hvac system to circulate the air where's the best place to put it it's kind of going to depend on the space and the other part of that the answer to that question is it's really not that important where you place it um, because eventually the effects of the purification unit will spread throughout the whole space. So if you have, say, a, a home that's 2,500 square feet, you want to kind of put it central in the home in a, in a centrally located spot or near an air return. Those would be the, the two most logical places. Um, kind of expanding on that a little bit, if you have a larger space, um, you can actually use these in tandem. So for example, um, we're putting three units into a church. So the church, it's pretty much wide open. Um, and they're just going to put space to the three units kind of equidistant from each other because the uh, total square footage is just a little bit under 8,000 square feet that they're going to be dealing with. So they're going to have one kind of a third of the way up through the sanctuary, two thirds of the way up, and then one up on the, the pulpit, I guess, is going to be where they're spacing these things. Um, but it, the the big answer is it can pretty much go anywhere and still function properly. And that's true of even a you know, home with doors that are closed because you're still going to have air circulation. Gotcha. Cool. Okay, Jay, uh, what's the best way to people to find you? Uh, I see you got a website, uh, valara.com. Um, what's a good telephone yeah, my, number for? Um, the, the Valara, my uh, website is valara.com slash erase COVID. And the simplest way to reach me is phone call 717-314-0628. Okay, Jay Berry, hey, I appreciate knowing this and I'm going to do everything I can to spread the word about this. I think this is too important uh, to keep under, you know, to keep secret. Well, I, I greatly appreciate the time and I appreciate the fact you're trying to spread the word about this because I agree with you. I mean, everybody seems to have a different take on COVID. There's people in denial about it, people who are being cautious about it, people are freaking out about it. So I'm kind of in the same mindset. It's like, I'm gonna let everybody know that I can and they can take the information and run with it. I hey, appreciate it. Thank you much and have a great day and stay safe. Thanks, Paul, you do the same.